Hey guys! Hi. Welcome back to the channel. It's Delaney. I'm Chip. And today we're doing our two in one switcheroo! Switching. We're switching. So as you may have seen from our other one a couple weeks back, I had the Anastasia Beverly Hills prison palette, so now Chip has and yes. it's and I have the Urban Decay Elements palette, and now Delaney has that to play with and just enjoy. It's so round. <laughs> so well rounded. <sighs> I'm excited. It's been a minute since I played with like some Urban Decay. I literally have That's not a naked this palette. palette in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to have some fun. Have, have fun with fun. those metallics. <laughs> I, I feel like the metallics in this particular palette for ABH, they were kind of like. They're not as fluffy. They mm. like seal very quickly. Like you could see from my eternal palette. The, the, <laughs> the eternal. <laughs> yeah, the eternal shade is like, no man. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna prime my, my eyes, eyes with the Urban Decay. We're gonna take Fortune Teller. Put that in the crease, Morphe and Fortune. Looking at the shades like in person, cause I have never like looked at this palette in person. They look very reminiscent of like single shades that they sell. And I'm just like, was that the gist? Is that they're using existing shades to like do this palette? Wasn't that the thing? I feel like that was the thing. What you gonna do, Chip? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <sighs> Osiris. Did you want any of that on your brush? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll just be here for a little bit. It's a metallic shade, Chip. You're gonna have to use not a fluffy brush. It's getting on there. Oh. <laughs> when you turned, I couldn't see it, but as you turned, I saw it. Oh. <laughs> I have this particular shade like in so many different palettes, just like slight variations. So I'm just like, <laughs> it's home away from my home. <laughs> We're going to take Earthbound on both sides of the eye, so the inner and outer corner. I'm going to use the Sephora Pro 14. Earthbound was very popular in the two-in-one, so <laughs> we're just going to continue on that. going to go down that road. Yep, yep, yep. They're good shades. It's just the layout. It just doesn't make you want to <laughs> use it. I don't know what it is. How to rearrange it so it's better. Maybe put Sphere on, like, the end. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Too much of a conundrum. We're gonna take Pulse Gold on the lid in the center and just pat out over Earthbound. Taking the Touch and Soul style sepia in French Garden gel liner and I'm just applying that into the lower lash line. I'm gonna take Dimension. Where are you going? Another to another dimension. That would be cool. Taking the Hourglass Extreme Caution mascara from what I used in the first two in one. It's just like. Cakey. I am loving this look right now. Like, wow. I didn't think I'd like it too much because I was like, oh, let's go put these colors together. But no. Oh, yes. Right? Like, Did we do a halo eye sort of at the same time? Yep. That's yep. fine. Yep. Lip is going to be Belagon Matte Liquid Lipstick and Dress to Chill. It's a nice, like, muted green. Okay, we're going with the Tarte Big Ego. I'm going to go in with a Urban Decay 24 7 liner for, called Lucky and put that on my waterline. For not ever seeing these shades, like, in person and being able to see, like, the potential duochrome of that fortune teller shade. This is a very fall look. It's just so shimmery. And the Too Faced Melted Matte and suck it. Done. Done. Ooh, I like. I like that green. I really like I love the way that your skin is very like starlet-esque with your your hair you got going on today. It's a perfect match. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some close-ups for you guys, yes. and then we'll be going right into look number two. Woo. And then we're good. This one, I, let's see what I picked. I think I stuck more on the neutral side. We're just gonna do matte. I wanna see you use a uh, Saturn. And maybe this, we're just gonna put all the mattes. And I mean, <laughs> if not, you've got a nice brown color. In yes. <laughs> and then we're ready for church. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Boo. Ooh, we are ready to go. Okay, Morphe M412. I'm gonna take Elemental. Let me find it in here. <laughs> LOL. We're gonna go in with Lur. Hello. Hello. Transition. Oh, okay. Elemental is one of the few mats. You had to hold up to the light. Honestly, <laughs> well, yeah, because it's hard to read the names. <laughs> Are you going to be a shimmer? Well, no, honestly, when I was looking online, I couldn't tell that what there were mats like? and yeah. what were, you know. When I have to, like, look, if I, it's not a palette that I own, I just kind of, like, go for colored, not necessarily formula. Yeah. Which was so funny when we did our Alice one <laughs> last month. I was like, oh, I picked shades that like literally have the same finish and same kind of duochrome. <laughs> 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 
Imagine that. It was a great time. Never looked at this palette before. Cool. It was a great time. This goes to show I need to be working at Urban Decay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with Obsidian. What would be the next palette that you want to see from ABH? Like what color scheme? I want I... them to take a trip back to like subculture, but now that all the Norvina pal Pro palettes come mm -hmm. out, they're probably not gonna make another color palette ever again. <laughs> Even though Norvina's different. Like I really like the fact that they're all colors. When I think of makeup, I think of bright, bold, colorful, I know there is a time for neutral. There is. There's a yeah, time for subtle. Yeah, that's why you find that soft glam. Yeah, there's. <laughs> but for me, it's not all the time. So I have all three. So now I'm just like, I don't know if I even want anything more. Like, I feel like right now my heart is, it's sufficient. It's very satisfied. It's I like when it. someone's asking you what you want to eat for your next meal and you just ate. Right. Like, you're literally still finishing. Yeah, or like you go to a restaurant and then you go grocery shopping after. Mm. Like you're in the grocery store and you're like, I don't want any of this. I, I will eventually, this, but right now, none of this, none right of this looks good. <laughs> Inner eye is going to be volcanic. And that is like a, another bronze shade. <laughs> Am I making the same look again? <laughs> I'm using the Sephora Pro 14. I'm going to take that to like two thirds of the lid. I don't know what kind of color scheme I'd want to see from like ABH themselves. Like I'd like to see something that's like more muted tones that doesn't have a pop of pink in it. Mm -hmm. Like I'd like to see them do kind of like a smaller condensed version of like the volume two from Norvina, this little more orangey one. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that. The <laughs> last <laughs> shade is gonna be Secret Keeper. I think I should have put a white base for this green in here. It's not sitting nicely on my, my bad pigment. Like oh, Sphere. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm surprised it looked as good on me today as it normally does. Cause like the first couple of times using it, it was mm -hmm. like, this looks like gross. No. <laughs> like it's not even there. If the wind blew, it would go away. Blow right off my lace. <laughs> Going in with Lucid. It's a nice duochrome. I think out of all the ABH palettes that I own, like that's my favorite white that they put in. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take some of Secret Keeper on the lower lash line with a different brush. We're going to use the uh, Morphe E18 to do that, just kind of to give a little bit of color. I haven't really done any lash line colors today. We're definitely gonna add a liner because my eyes are watering. I mean, when to hide that. Okay, liner. It's gonna be from Appeal Cosmetics. I actually really like these from this brand. This is a gel liner. This is in the shade uh, Desert Taupe. I just did the Hourglass Cosmetics mascara again. I'm gonna use some Baby Bat Beauty. This is in the shade Cryptic and it's a matte like pink. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead back in with a Too Faced Melted Lip and suck it. In the center I put Queen Bee. Done. Done. I like yeah. the way that Sphere came out on you though. Yeah. It's a nice like murky fall yeah. look. I think the liner was definitely- I definitely need. Yep. Good need. Yeah. 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 I like your look. It's cute. It's cute. The blend is nice. The blend Thank is real you. nice. <laughs> All right, let's do some close ups. Yeah. Please give it a like and subscribe to us if you haven't yes. already. If you have and you've been watching us for a while, thank we you so much for you. continuing to watch us and do these yes. crazy looks and our eyes, man, our eyes. Well, we will see you guys Crying. on the next video. Bye. Bye.